G'day guys, Liam Fitzpatrick here, and it is blowing bloody dogs off chains. It's crazy windy, um, wanted to have a fish. I've got Dickers here with me, he's taken off down there. We've got some new water we're gonna fish. We uh, come up with a game plan to fish some new stuff. We jumped on Google Earth, we found some likely looking water. It's a bit of a reconnaissance mission this session. Just gonna um, get in there, see if we can't catch a few bass. There's a good chance there'll be bass in there. It's near a creek and a river that I know has got bass in it. So it's a good chance we'll get some bass hold up in these pools and these old lakes or whatever the hell it looks like on Google Earth. It flooded 2015, was it three years ago now, so any fish that have been stuck in these bodies of water should be half decent. Yeah, we're gonna go and trek through the bush, do a bit of bush bashing, and yeah, see if we can't stumble onto a, a little honey hole. Not exactly a trap. We did say we were gonna do a bit of bush bashing. Uh, we'll get through all this, I reckon. Oh, it's like a bought one. There is water there though. This is the creek. She looks a little bit empty. Um, we'll get around here somewhere. Oh, it's a crazy little back bit of creek, isn't it? I love you get railed here. That'll be sick. There you go, good old Google Earth. She didn't let us down. Look at the thorns on that big gnarly bass. The tickets just barge through. <laughs> Look at the size of them. You train in bush tracking dickers? <sighs> right, there's a bit of water. You want to get around that out of the wind side? Yeah. Let's go. This is just a little bloody dirt puddle out in the middle of nowhere, isn't it? Jack's in it, you reckon? Jack for sure. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Oh, God. You see how I use my knees and my shins there to take the full brunt of the fall? All right, we've made it to what we saw on Google Earth. Looks like an old quarry. Uh, I'm gonna just go with the old faithful lipless crankbait, Jackal TN60. Best bait to explore new water with. See how we go. Oh, it's on, dickers. The old quarry. I reckon we just power fish hard, mate. Try and figure out where some fish are. I think that pretty much sums it up, though. If you throw a few casts and nothing hits, move to the next corner. Pretty cool. Chunky. Oh, in the lower section, yeah, but it's grippy. This material is like super grip stuff. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Yes! Oh, at my feet! I watched him follow it up and eat it. That is awesome, man. <laughs> He's on a short leash, that guy. That's good. Cool. Did you see that bass just come up and smash that? Just slow rolling it up, like clear as day, right at my feet. <laughs> That's cool as, man. That's sick. He's coughing up bait. There's bait in this lake. Wow, that's cool, man. He's solid as. He crunched it right on that belly treble. Wow, that's cool, man. That's sick. How cool is that? That's the first bass out of this joint. So, like, we've been Google Earthing the crap out of this joint. Like, there's lakes here. It's close to the river. I know the river's got bass. You know, it, it's, it wasn't. A, it was a no-brainer that there should be fish in here. But how cool is that? That is a solid bass. He's crunched that TN60. Smashed it right at my feet. First fish out of a new spot. That is awesome, man. How cool. There's a fat little bastard too. And he coughed up a heap of bait or something. Whatever he was eating, he had a full gut. Well, it means he's feeding though. 
which means if he's feeding, others are feeding, which means he's happy to hit a lure, which means, hey, that works for us. That is crazy, man. That's just so cool. Confidence, mate. Confidence. Knowing they should be here. Knowing what bait you should throw. Yeah, it might not be the best bait, but, you know, being confident that that's a great search tool. Tie it on. And catch. That's so cool. Yeah, stickers. Yep, little guy. Yeah, little bass, he's headbutted. He's had a swipe at it. No, not really, man. I was just thrown to the edge. Slow roll. That's that shallow bit over there, though. There we go, number two on that lipless crank, that little jackal TN60. There's a confidence bait, like that's, you know, it's a great search bait, you can power fish it, you know, I can cover a variety of depths in, you know, the water column and whatnot. Here it is around the backside, he's just had a little headbutt slash at that guy. And, yeah, pinned him. Plans coming together, this is purely off Google Earth, like dead set, like found a couple lakes, we'll have a look at them. It's near the river, you know, put A and B together, one plus one makes two. That's sick, man, how cool is that? Look at that. Dick has took me through the bloody safe part of the track. So you can see that moon, moon above, just off my rod tip. Oh, I moved it. Moon's been rising since 11.45, I think it was. So we've got a rising moon all afternoon. Barometer's sitting at 10.13. And I've got a bite period coming in at 4.30 through to 5.30, 6 o'clock sort of thing. So even though the wind's howling, there's a few little parts of the puzzle lining up in our favour. So. Caught two fish already, so yeah, it's not too bad. Dickers, that's the go, mate. That's that's a fish, man. He's carving up. He's carving like a bass. Yeah, nice bass. <laughs> oh shit, I'm going downhill. <laughs> Alright, hold him up for me. Give us a look. A little bass out of some new water. Very cool. You a doctor? Yeah. <laughs> That's three. Jesus, I don't know how you manage that. Good to get it. Oh, I had to cut it, but your knots always end up tying your bloody knots. Look at that wind on the water. It's like a mystical ballet. There's Dickers, there he is. You haven't seen much of him today. He's just been doing his thing. He's got one, dropped one. Uh, he'd be on par. Oh, that's it, we've had four hits, eh, Dickers? Converted three. That's pretty cool for new water. Like, legit, never fished here. Found it on Google Earth. And we caught, man. That's pretty cool. Watch out for that red <laughs> Yeah, PVC pipe with a red stripe. Does look like a red belly. I'll give it that. At least I'm bloody aware of my bloody surroundings. That's the key. That's what keeps you alive out here in the outback. All right, that's the end of the session. We uh, we fished a new bit of water, like I've said a couple times. Found it on Google Earth. Old quarry by the looks of it. And it had bass in it. Now, we didn't whack them, you know. We got a couple. I think we landed three. Had four attempts. But it was pretty cool, you know, finding new ground, new spots, and yeah, success, man. We we're pretty chuffed. It's been a bit of a grind. My legs are cut to pieces. It was pretty hardcore, but we uh, we come out on top. Yeah, so that was that was good. Uh, yeah, if you like that, give us a subscribe, please. If you if you you know into that sort of thing, you know, I love creating this content for you guys. 
Like I said, that was all done purely by Google Earth. Found a spot, fished a spot, caught bass. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. Anyway, guys, we'll catch you next time. Cheers for watching.